Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long time since I have put up a video and I kind of missed this whole process and I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable. I've had to record this video. This is going to be my third time now. Let's not get into it. I'm a bit annoyed at this point, but it's fine. Anyway, how have you guys been? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying sane and safe and warm and cozy wherever you are. I wanted to just sit down and talk about where I've been, what's been going on, um, because it's been a little bit of a rough time. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's been uh, it's been a little hard for me for the past like two months, and I wanted to sit down and talk a bit about it. I've had a very difficult time in regards to school and that's obviously um, because that's such a big part of my life currently it's affected other areas and I just I needed a break I needed a break to just like deal with what I could manage and um, there were some things that had to be you know prioritized over others and like recording videos just ended up quite low on my priority list unfortunately but it does feel good to sit down and talk to a camera and let out my feelings like this again. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I feel a little rusty, but we're gonna power through this uncomfortable feeling. <laughs> I guess I can start by talking about what's been going on with me and why I haven't been posting. Um, I have been very overwhelmed for the past, um, I wanna say two months, maybe a little bit longer than that, uh, with school. At the beginning of this month, I was really frustrated with myself primarily and my inability to focus and to get productive work done. No matter how hard I tried, I was getting distracted every five minutes and all the tactics and tips and techniques and hacks that were working for me before just stopped working for me. I lost a lot of joy from the things that used to make me happy, like I don't do yoga anymore. Um, I don't go on walks with my mom as often as I used to. I don't, you know, treat myself to an evening because it doesn't help me relax anymore. Um, it's just, it's been a very overwhelming time and I'm all about pushing through and persevering and keeping that like positive can-do mindset but there comes a point where I just need to acknowledge that I'm not doing my best and there are valid reasons why and I need to stop being so hard on myself for not getting the amount of work that I want to get done. I have found that I have finally been able to get to a point where I am okay with the fact that I'm not working at 100% capacity like I was before. So I just wanted to talk about it. I want to talk about a couple of things that I've really been struggling with. Um, as much as I love med school and I'm happy that I'm here, there are some very big negatives that I'm feeling right now and I might as well talk about it and get it off my chest and just let it be out there so I can move forward um, and continue making videos again, which I really missed doing. I've been like putting off making a video because I've been feeling so uncomfortable about just like faking it and being like fake happy or yeah we're gonna power through we're gonna study a lot today the truth of the matter is I'm not studying as much as I used to and I'm just tired most of the time my studying isn't as productive as it was before so it felt wrong to like turn on a camera and like put up a face and be like hey yeah let's study today this is what I'm going to be doing when in reality I'm getting distracted every five minutes and staring out the window or taking a nap. <laughs> so let's talk about why. These are what I would call my current pitfalls in medicine. Dramatic title, I know. <laughs> the first thing I wanted to talk about um, is the workload. Uh, med school is hard. Med school is a lot of work. I heard the stereotypes long before I became a student. Um, you know, med school students have no life. Med school study, students study all the time. 
it's not entirely true, but uh, yeah, yeah, like if you want to get good marks, yeah, you have to study all the time. The problem with the workload, which I was well aware of before we got into this whole thing, <laughs> I knew it would be a lot, but I wasn't aware of the consistency of the workload. It's all the time. Like, there's no one week on, one week off. It's all the time. And the problem with that is you're not going to get a break unless you give yourself a break. I was really good at doing that first semester. I was able to do that quite well, and I think that was partially because the content was maybe easier for me to understand, or it was at a pace that I could um, keep up with. Now, though, it's not. Um, I don't know, maybe it's like me being t more tired or, you know, um, the content becoming harder. I'm not sure what it is, but I can't keep up with it the way I used to. And I don't have the motivation to keep up with it the way I used to. Before, I was excited about it all the time. No matter how much work I had to do, I was excited to sit down and learn. And that's not the case anymore. And it's really hard to let myself fall behind in things. I don't like to not know everything. So going into a test or an exam now, I have to like let myself know and just like remind myself like, listen, you did the best you could. We'll see how it goes, you know? And um, it's been working. Uh, this mindset before when I had the I need to know everything and oh my god I can't forget anything mentality I would make a lot of mistakes in my exams because of just sheer panic I would just, I was just in a state of like I don't want to get anything wrong and that would make me freeze during a test so I did really really poorly on a few of them because of this and now that I've switched my mindset it's become a lot better it's become a lot better my Results aren't the way I want them to be or at the level I want them to be, but they're still a lot better than they were like a month, two months ago. So that's good. My current way of dealing with the workload at this point is just, I'll get to it if I can get to it. And if I can't get to it, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, for example, for our, uh, for an anatomy exam, I had to study, you know, the reproductive system and the genital system and the urinary system and uh, I just got to a point where I was like I can't learn about pregnancy in women like I it's such an interesting topic it's so fascinating to me uh, but I don't have time to learn it and that breaks my heart a little bit because I am curious about it so that's going to be one thing that I can hopefully get into when things slow down a little bit more. This week is the last week of classes and hopefully after that I will have more space and time to devote to satiating a curiosity that has kind of like been quieted down and diminished. Building on from the workload, um, the burnout is intense. I'm exhausted all the time and it's not a fit, like a physical exhaustion. I know that when I don't get enough sleep, I become irritable and cranky and I can't focus. But this is beyond that. This has been going on for two months and I know I'm sleeping like seven to eight hours a night. So let me not eight, six to seven hours a night. It isn't ideal for me, but at the same time, it's not too little that I shouldn't be able to function. Like this is, really really frustrating at this point i i don't have the motivation i used to i don't want to sit down and study anymore like i used to before i used to like feel really empowered and good about myself when i was able to you know study all day and then at the end of the the day in the evening or very intentionally sometimes during the middle of the day take a break watch a video watch a movie um go for a walk uh, do some yoga like that felt really good to me but now I'm at a point where I feel like I need like multiple breaks multiple large breaks throughout the day and it it's not fitting with the current schedule because the content and 
the schedule of exams is so quick, like they're all one after the other, so I don't have, I don't, I don't feel like I have the time to sit down and take like three breaks throughout the day, three very intentional, you know, two hour breaks. It's, it, that's like six hours of my day gone, how I could be using that for like, you know, studying, but then I sit down and study and it's so difficult for me to study. Maybe I'm just better off taking the break. I don't know. The way I'm currently dealing with the burnout um, is that I'm, a lot of it is pushing through and just getting it done and working through it. I use like fun music in the background to like pull up my spirits and encourage me to work. So when I'm doing my Anki cards, something that um, is mostly memorization for me, I don't feel like I need to focus too hard, especially if it's like cards that I'm reviewing. So I put on like fun music in the background and do my Anki cards that way. If it's like pure studying, then I put on like some other kind of music or like have my my family in the background and like sit near them and study. It's not efficient at all by any means, but it's I'm at a point now where I don't need efficiency. I just need to like start. <laughs> so something that contributes I think to the burnout and like the general feeling of doom and gloom uh, is the isolation that I feel being in medical school. Like this is true of like any profession, any circumstances, but I feel like nobody except my classmates and my my peers understand what I'm going through. And uh, it's, it's, it's a little heartbreaking because the people that I used to talk to and get encouragement from and lean on, the... It, their advice isn't helpful anymore. Knowing that they're there and they're always willing to listen is very nice, but I used to go to them to like, you know, feel better. And at this point, <laughs> the advice I get when I tell people I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm burnt out is take a break. And I don't entirely know how to articulate the fact that a break doesn't help me anymore. I'm consistently tired. There was one day where I took like an entire day, not an entire day, there was one day where I took the entire evening off because I was just so angry. I was angry at myself. I was angry at the program that I was in. I was just frustrated and overwhelmed and angry. Like I sat down to study and I was just furious. I didn't want to do it. So I took the entire evening off and just laid in bed and watched like Avatar The Last Airbender and it was nice. It was a good break, but all it did was get me out of the anger. I'm still frustrated and overwhelmed. Um, not to be too much of a downer, but this is my current reality, unfortunately. Basically what I'm saying is any advice that I get from people, which is like from a very good place, a very kind place, a very supportive, encouraging place, but any advice I get from people that are not in med school is not useful to me anymore. Taking a break, going for a walk, um, you know, like breaking things up into smaller tasks, like these like things are not helpful anymore. I'm doing all of these things as much as I can, but none of it, none of it is not working for me. And it's isolating. It's very isolating. It's sad. It's lonely. Having to study all the time as well means that I don't get to socialize with certain friends and, you know, f friends of family anymore. When people come over for dinner, um, it's usually like an inconvenience to me. I come out for the meal and then I'm gone. If I feel like It'd be rude to just like, you know, go into my room and study all the whole time or if they're calling me out and being like, hey, come hang out with us for a little bit, take a break, take a break. It, it gives me anxiety, it gives me stress, um, which is like another aspect of the loneliness. The COVID thing is a whole other beast and the COVID thing just adds to it, but like we're all going through that right now. 
So that part is definitely relatable. Everybody gets that. It's it's hard just being alone all the time and not having p p the people that, you know, relate to you the most around you. On a more positive note, how am I dealing with it? I've had a conversation with like my mom um, about the feeling of isolation and how nobody really understands what I'm going through and the advice that people give me doesn't help anymore and it was so nice to have that conversation because she realized that you know maybe I just need to stop giving you advice unless you specifically ask for it maybe I just need to be there and be willing to listen and I was like yeah actually yes that that is what I want and I didn't realize that that's what I wanted um, which seems so simple and like I don't know duh now but maybe that's what I want I just want someone to acknowledge that my feelings are valid and then just make me laugh about it because there's nothing anyone can really do about it and we're just at a point where we need to like power through and push through and yes that's hard and yes that's frustrating but it's easier with a laugh it's easier with a little bit of humor interesting I have had a eureka moment Ooh. the last thing I wanted to talk about is a little bit of drama it's a little bit of tea if you will um but it's it's dealing with difficult personalities um which really put a downer on things sometimes this could be like you know another student a classmate it could be even a professor and i'm in the situation currently where it is a professor and i'm having a very difficult time enjoying learning because of the interactions I've had with this professor. It's nothing personal at this point, it's just like, you know, the way that the course has been handled, the way that, you know, we as students are heard or communicated with, like it's just, it's put a downer on things. And it sucks when it's a professor. I could have dealt with it if it was a student, and I think I have. It's fine when, you know, you have a classmate or a student or like, someone of like a peer an upper year whatever it is who is you someone you just don't get along with that's fine that i can deal with no big deal but when it's a professor especially if it's a professor of a course you actually really enjoy it sucks i don't like studying for this course anymore because i feel like what's the point you know what's the point in me putting so much work into this course when i feel not valued as a student in it I'm sure the professor would have a different opinion. I'm sure he would be coming from a different perspective. Uh, but we're just talking about me right now and I'm the one with the camera and a YouTube channel, so. And one way that I'm currently dealing with it is just changing my mindset completely. I don't study for the exam anymore like I used to. I used to be really excited about learning enough so that I could apply it on my exam and test my knowledge and see if I know things. And that worked for me before. It's not working anymore because I don't think that the exams are an accurate representation of my learning and so I don't study for the exam anymore. I study to know. I study to know for myself. I study to... I study in a way where I've changed my mindset from this is for an exam to this is to learn about the human body and that's really really difficult considering you know the burnout and the workload. Um, it's really hard to find motivation to do that, but it is like a very active process of me sitting down right in front of my desk and for two minutes just thinking about, okay, this is interesting. I enjoy this. This is something that I want to learn about. The human body is fascinating. How it works, how it functions is like wild. And it's something that I want to learn about. So basically, yeah, I just come at it from a pers different perspective now and that seems to be working okay yeah anyway so those are the current issues that i'm having with school on the whole i am happy that i'm here in the grand scheme of things i'm glad that i'm in this program i'm glad that i'm in medical school i'm happy to be learning about all of this stuff camera stopped working but what i was saying was i just need to 
get to a point where I acknowledge that this is hard. I acknowledge that I'm going through a rough time and it's okay to feel frustrated. It's okay to not be working at 100% capacity. It's okay to feel like you need more breaks than usual. I'm talking to myself when I say that. <laughs> Basically what I want to say is that I've been going through a rough time and yes, it's all been difficult, but overall, I am happy I'm in medical school. I am very grateful to be in this program and have an opportunity to learn about the human body and do something that I've like, you know, been dreaming of doing for a very long time. That's not to say though, that I shouldn't acknowledge difficulty when it's there. It's not all about pushing through. Sometimes I just need to sit with like the feeling of this is shitty. I don't like this. I need to sit down and feel shitty for a little while. <sighs> yeah, that's something that I'm not really good at and something I need to work on. And this actually was a very good cathartic experience. This is like my third time talking about it. So I feel like I've gotten most of it out, if not all of it out at this point. It's off my chest at this point. Yes, it sucked. And now I'm at a point where I'm just like, whatever. It was, it was shitty. Yes. I don't want to think about it anymore. Moving forward. So. I'm glad I sat down and recorded this for the third time. <laughs> I don't think it made as much sense as before, but hopefully um, I was somewhat coherent and this flowed to some degree. If you made it all this way, thank you so much. Thank you for listening to all my venting and you know, if it was something you related to, maybe hit that thumbs up. Um, my following videos will be more upbeat and more positive because I'm feeling more enthusiastic about studying again so subscribe if you want to see more content and probably not like this i don't want to do another venting session for a little while at least um i will have more fun if not productive videos out for you with lots of studying involved all right i should have head over um i have an exam to give and i have to eat some food before i leave so see you later bye have a good day